Hello there, this video will go over installing a couple of things in our Debian session in the Userland app, and then we will create a script that will bring up the LXDE desktop on our device. This will bring us even closer to having a Linux desktop on an Android that looks like this. If you're interested in Linux on an Android, then you may be interested in my playlist that will cover how to install and set up a Linux desktop on an Android without rooting. To get started, we are going to start our Debian session in userland, and in the terminal, we are first going to enter sudo space apt space update space dash y and press enter on our keyboard to execute the command and update the software index list. The dash y eliminates the extra step of confirming we want to update. Next, we will do sudo space apt space dist dash upgrade space dash y to upgrade already installed packages. This may take a couple of moments. After that, we are going to do our first install, which will be sudo space apt space install space dialog space dash y. Dialog will allow software installs to ask a question and receive a reply. Next, we are going to do sudo space apt space install space task dash lxde dash desktop space dash y. This will install the lxde desktop. This install will use dialog to ask what keyboard layout we want to use. To select a keyboard layout, use the up and down keys. To switch between OK and cancel, use the tab key. And to continue, press either the space or enter key. This install will likely take less than an hour depending on your internet speed. Now we are going to do sudo space apt space install space x11 dash x server dash utils space dash y. This contains x server utilities. After that, we're going to do sudo space apt space install space dbus dash x11 space dash y. This is for sending messages between applications. Next, we are going to do sudo space apt space install space openbox dash lxde dash session space dash y. We are going to be using the Openbox window manager with LXDE components. After that, we are going to do sudo space apt space install space wm dash icons space dash y to install window manager icons. For our last install, we are going to do sudo space apt space install space nano space dash y to install the nano text editor, which we are going to be using to create our script that will run our desktop. Now we can focus on creating the script to run our desktop. First, we will go to the slash user slash bin file path by doing cd space slash usr slash bin to change the directory. Note that the file system in userland is not the Android file system, so any root files are fake root files and they are not actually the root files of the device. To create our script with nano, we will execute nano space go l to open up the nano text editor and create a file named go l. You can name the file whatever you would like. I do go l because it's easier to find and takes less typing. The first line we will type into the script is openbox lxde space ampersand greater than symbol space slash dev slash null space ampersand. The openbox lxde is the desktop and the ampersand greater than space slash dev slash null deletes the output which includes both standard and error messages. You can leave this out if you would like to see those messages. The ampersand at the end of the line makes it run in the background. On the next line, we will put sleep space 5. You can adjust the time or not have this line at all. It just provides some time for the desktop to start up. For the next line, we will input dbus launch space pc man fm space dash dash desktop space ampersand greater than symbol space slash dev slash null space ampersand. Dbus-launch helps with some of the messaging between programs, 
and PC Man FM is being used to control the wallpaper and desktop icons. For the next and final line, we will type in LX panel space ampersand greater than symbol space slash dev slash null space ampersand. LX panel is the taskbar and menu for launching programs. Now we are done creating the script, so we will do Control O to write out the file, press Enter to save, and Control X to exit Nano. This will bring us back to the terminal where we will make the GoL file executable by doing chmod space plus x space GoL, so now we can actually use the script. While we are here in the slash user slash bin file path, we will create a second script so that we can run the Synaptic Package Manager. This will allow us to install software with Synaptic. To do that, we are going to do nano space go syn to create a file named go syn. For the first line, we are going to input xhost space plus space ampersand ampersand. The xhost space plus allows the commands that follow to run a GUI session with rip permissions and the ampersand ampersand makes the script wait until the command on that line is done. For the next line, we will input sudo space synaptic space ampersand ampersand in order to run synaptic with rip permissions. For the final line, we will put in xhost space dash. The exos space dash will not allow the commands that follow to run a GUI session with root privileges. We are now done creating the go syn script, so we are going to do control O, enter, and then control X to save the file and exit nano. Just like what we did with the goel file, we are going to do chmod space plus x space go syn in order to make the file executable. Now that we have our scripts, we can go back to the home directory by doing cd space tilde. Before we execute the goel script to run our desktop, we are going to check to see if the standard directories exist by doing ls to list the files and folders in the current directory that we are in. If you do not see the documents, downloads, music, PDF, pictures, videos, or templates folders, that's okay because we can make them here in the terminal. To do that, we will do mkdir space documents starting with a capital D to make a directory named documents. We'll need to repeat this process for the downloads, music, PDF, pictures, videos, and templates folders. If you accidentally misspell a directory, you can do rm space dash r space the name of your directory to delete it. You can also do ls to list the files and folders in the current directory to check that we have made the standard directories. To see all the files and folders including the hidden ones, we can do ls space dash a. Hidden files are just files and folders that start with a dot in their name. So if we accidentally started the name of a file or a folder with a dot, ls space dash a will list it. We can now finally execute the goel script by typing goel into the terminal and executing the command. The first time that we run the command, it will mess up. What we will do is let it run for a couple moments, close out of the userland app, open the userland app, and then right click or long press on the Debian session and select stop session if the session has not already been stopped. After that, we're going to click on Debian to start up Linux again. Once the terminal is up, we are going to execute the goel script once more, which will actually bring up the desktop this time. We can input exit to close out of the terminal window, and if that doesn't work, we can click on the close button in the top right corner of the window instead. Now, if you did a two finger pinch zoom in to see the terminal, you'll want to do a two finger pinch zoom out to see the rest of the desktop. You'll see a black background, a green trash can in the top left of the screen, and a taskbar in the bottom of the screen. Don't worry about the background being just black because we can set it and I'll show how to do that in the next video. If you prefer to install with apt, you can do man space apt or apt space dash dash help for more information. The install method that I recommend is synaptic. Later on, I'll cover more methods for installing. In order to be able to run Synaptic, we have to go to the menu in the bottom left corner,
go to the Preferences category, right-click on Synaptic Package Manager, select Properties, and under the Desktop Entry tab, change the command to be Go SYN so that it uses the script we made for it earlier, and then click OK. Also, searching by name and description is really slow, while searching by just the name of a program is a lot faster. So if you know the exact name or part of the name of the program you want to install, you'll likely want to search by name. If you're browsing for programs, on the other hand, searching by description and name is more thorough. In a future video, I'll have a separate video on Synaptic that goes into more detail. To shut down, we need to click on the three-dot menu option in the VNC floating menu and select Disconnect. And then we need to right-click or long-press on the Debian session in the Sessions screen and then select Stop Session. To bring the Linux desktop back up, we need to click on Debian to get the terminal, execute the GoL script, and then exit or close out of the terminal, and ta-da! A Linux desktop on an Android. In the next video, I will go over how to configure the desktop so that it goes from this to this. If you enjoyed this video, then you may be interested in the companion book to this video, Linux on Android phones and tablets. And other than that, see you soon!